guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year's Eve day and happy Magic Mail Monday. I cannot believe that 2018 has come to an end and tomorrow we will be saying hello to a brand new year. I can't wait. I always get super excited um, for a new year. It just feels like a fresh start. It always feels really good to me. And tomorrow I'm actually flying down to Walt Disney World with my husband and also my parents. So uh, I think 2019 is going to be off to a fabulous start for me. I'm in a super good mood today and I have some really fun magic mail to share with you. This magic mail Monday video might be a little bit on the short side because I am in the midst of packing and getting a handful of videos ready to upload while I'm away and we're actually having um, some friends over for dinner tonight so I need to like help Aaron cook and get the house ready like there's a million things happening and I can't stop smiling because I'm in such a good mood but I'm also like in a major time crunch so I have some mail that I will get through I'm not sure how much of it um, is gonna actually happen today but I'm gonna do the best I can and here we go I want to start with what's in this big box because I really love what's in here I do not usually include PR stuff in my magic mail Monday usually it's just devoted to either pin mail or mail from you guys and uh, PR gets its own you know own video or a different thing um, but I really am enjoying the contents of this box because there are some really awesome vinyl figures in here and I'm not a huge like vinyl figure collector but look like look what's in this box hello these are so cool these are Disney showcase collection uh, collectible vinyl figures and they are by the world of Miss Mindy vinyl and it was actually the world of Miss Mindy the designer that reached out to me and offered to send me um, a few of these brand new collectible figures they actually let me pick out three that I wanted and I had no idea that they would be this big and that they would be like honestly this gorgeous and they've got a really cool like the Miss Mindy style is really cool and I'm just like super jazzed about these I'm honestly like really excited about everything right now I'm I'm hyped up right now just overall but I'm loving these figures but yeah it's the Inesco World of Miss Mindy Disney Showcase Collection vinyl series and there's several of them I think there might be like 10 or, or 12 of them available and they sent me an email um, with pictures of everything in the collection and they said I could pick out three so I picked classic characters um, I went with Mickey and Minnie and also Tinkerbell because I'm super obsessed with Tinkerbell right now so let me just show them to you briefly because I'm really excited and then I'll leave a link down below to where you can purchase these and, um, and you better believe that I'm gonna be like stalking that link as well. And I'm also curious to see if they come out with like a phase two because they're just super, they're super cool. So this is the Mickey Mouse one. They kind of remind me of the Funko Pop figures, but they are larger and they have this kind of cool, like I don't know how you would describe this style. They're kind of like old school, I don't know, like how would you describe this style? It's arty, it's an arty style. And you've got Mickey winking with his bow tie and then he has a little accessory Pluto with him, which is so neat. And now look at Minnie Mouse. She has an equally like sassy style and she's got a cute blue polka dotted dress with looks like almost like knee socks on. And she is holding um, a lollipop. It reminds me of the lollipop guild from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, if you know what I'm talking about. And if you look behind her, I think these all come with stands to stand them up on. I'm going to leave Minnie and Mickey in their boxes for now, but I am going to take out the third one because that's the one that I like actually want to put out in my office right now. And that is the Tinkerbell one. Oh, they're just so cool looking though. They're super like, they're sassy. I clearly haven't been consuming caffeine or sugar at all today. Um, anyway, here comes Tinkerbell and I just love her. I think she's amazing. She looks like the most badass version of Tinkerbell I've ever seen. It's got a little T on her dress. Um, I love the little uh, hearts on her on her stockings. And then if you turn her around, you can see she's got um, wings and they're pretty sturdy and solid. I love the star on them. And the wings actually double as a stand. So she kind of rests on her feet and then the two wings like a tripod and it stands up um, in your space. 
And then all of the dolls, um, like I mentioned, come with an accessory. So Mickey Mouse came with Pluto, Minnie Mouse came with a lollipop, and Tinkerbell comes with her, um, with her little fairy wand, and they, it actually comes out of her hand. There she is, she's back there, she's behind me. I'm gonna find a more permanent place for her um, soon, but I'm so excited to have her out, like spreading pixie dust on my, uh, my workspace. And then just to show you the back of one of the boxes, you can see that there is a Stitch one available, um, Ariel is available. I almost went for the Ariel one because she's so cool looking. And there were several others. I wanna say maybe like four or five or even six other ones that they gave me to choose from. But again, I went with Mickey, Minnie, and uh, Tinkerbell. Thank you so much to the world of Miss Mindy for, for sending these to me. And like I said, I'll link down below um, like if you wanna try to purchase some for yourself. And I'm gonna be paying attention to this collection just to see what else they come out with because I really do love the style. It's a little more stylized than my Funko Pops and they're also a little bit larger and they just would look really cool all like lined up on a shelf. Okay Becca, deep breaths. Next I will move on to some mail from you guys from my P.O. Box. This package is from Cassie B. in Illinois and I've had this for quite a while. As I've mentioned in some previous uh, videos, up until recently I haven't had any rhyme or reason um, in the order that I open my mail and that's something that I am intending to be more organized about in the new year, but Cassie thank you for your patience uh, for me opening this. I know it's been um, a while. There's some fun stuff in here. Um, let me pull out the card first. It says Disney Kitty. And this is how you know I'm really behind on my mail. Um, I've got this adorable kitty cat happy Halloween card, which I'll be saving for perhaps a future pin board. Um, Cause I, I'm not doing monthly pin boards anymore in the new year, but I'm still gonna do like Halloween and Christmas and maybe like summer and Valentine's day. Well, they're still gonna happen, um, but I love the card. It's super cute. And the note inside is very sweet. So hi Cassie, um, thank you so much for your kind words and for sending me some mail. And let's see what is in here. A couple fun little goodies. I think I'm seeing washi tape. I love washi tape. I have kind of a lot of washi tape, but I don't have very much um, Disney washi tape. Washi tape, if you're not sure, is like little um, like decorative masking tape. So she actually sent me two, two rolls of Disney washi tape and I will show them to you. The first roll is Disney Tsum Tsum washi tape. So it kind of looks like this and you unroll the tape and put it on something and you can see all the little um, Tsum Tsum characters. Oh, there's Eeyore and Boo, such cute characters. And the second one is Disney Princess washi tape and I love princesses also. You've got Belle, Cinderella, Mulan, and Merida. Ooh, some lesser seen princesses. Um, and the tape itself looks like this. There's Ariel. Cannot wait to put this on some future magic mail that I send out to my friends. Cassie also sent me this little um, Beauty and the Beast magic towel. I actually have one um, just like this. I haven't used it yet, but I really do like the magic towels. It makes me feel like a kid and I just think they're really fun. And then finally, Cassie sent me what looks like a little um, Tsum Tsum figure and I think it might be Tigger. Here he is, it's a little Tigger figure, or a Tigger figure. <laughs> uh, that was really cheesy, but I'm cheesy sometimes. Thank you so much. Cassie from Illinois, thank you so much for the magic mail. Sending you some uh, holiday hugs and you and your family some good wishes for a brand new sparkling magical 2019. Next up I have this cute little package from Lauren in Charlotte, North Carolina. I think Lauren uh, reached out to me on Instagram recently. Hi Lauren, thanks for, um, thanks for mailing me something. And it's got a cute um, happy holidays sticker on the back. So I think I'm a little late in opening this, although not as late as I was with the Halloween card. And let's see what's in here. Ooh, okay, I, I remember what she messaged me about actually. I'm super excited about this. This is gorgeous. Okay, let me read the card first. First it says, Happy Holidays. It's a really cute little um, winter scene. And she says, Dear Becca, thank you so much for taking the time to connect with me on Instagram. I hope this pin makes a nice addition to your growing Harry Potter pin collection. Best, Lauren. Lauren recently started a small shop. I think it's an Etsy shop and it's called Sable and Arlo. And I don't know if she's gonna do like all Harry Potter stuff, but she offered to send me her very first pins ever. And I love fantasy pins and I love Harry Potter. And the packaging on this is like immaculate and beautiful and wait till you see these. If you like Harry Potter, you're gonna flip. 
is this not just so beautiful? So you've got the beautiful backer card um, with the uh, house animals on it. You've got Gryffindor, uh, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Hufflepuff animals. At the bottom it says her shop name, Sable and Arlo. And now look at these pins. This one is a wand and it says Expecto Patronum and there's some really beautiful subtle glitter on that. And then up here you have the Patronus, the bunny rabbit Patronus, and the rabbit um, Patronus is actually Luna Lovegood's Patronus in, in the books. Um, and Luna Lovegood is a Ravenclaw like me, so I'm so excited to have this. I don't even want to take the pins um, off of the uh, backer card because it's, it's so beautiful and it looks so gorgeous, just like all together, like one piece. So I'm just going to leave this as is for now, but I am in love with this. If this is any indication of future items that she might be coming out with, like I am hooked. I am all in on this. So thank you so much for sending this my way. I will leave a link down below to uh, Lauren's shop, Sable and Arlo, and I will be totally stocking it um, on Etsy or on Instagram or wherever you can stock it because this is gorgeous and I'm going to put it with my tiny but slowly growing Harry Potter pin collection. I've had several requests for um, a video about my Harry Potter pin collection and I promise that once it grows a little bit more that video will be happening and these pins will definitely be on it. The next package I have is a mailer from Isabella in Ohio. I think Isabella may have sent me mail before and I'm looking at the back and it says belated birthday magic mail. <laughs> and this is a belated magic mail opening because uh, this is another one of the pieces of mail that I'm very behind on. Um, but thank you so much. Very excited um, to open a package from Isabella. So here we have a handmade card from Isabella. It's hand-drawn and, um, and colored, and I love it. And it does say happy belated birthday, and she's an October baby like me. She says that she has recently started sketching again, so she has sent me a few sketches. And she says the Mushu and Figment mashup sketch was inspired by my mystery pin unboxing where Aaron kept screwing up Figment and Mushu. That is hilarious. Yes, Aaron is not always clear on his Disney dragons, that's for sure. Well, thank you so much, Isabella. You are the sweetest, and I can't wait to see um, the goodies that you sent. Before I get to Isabella's sketches, she did send me um, my very own sketch pad. It's got um, Mulan and Merida on it. And it says, can you read it? Find the strength within, and I think it's just a blank um, sketch pad. So I'm horrible at drawing, but now I've got some blank paper to practice. And she also sent me a Zootopia sticker book, which is amazing because I love Zootopia and I love stickers and I'll be putting this with my huge Disney sticker stash, which is one of the things that I will be sorting out in the new year. I've got to do some, some organizing of stuff. Pins, stickers, plush, clothes, figures. It's going to be a, a busy year for sorting and organizing, but I'm excited to add these to my sticker collection. Thank you. And finally, I will show you the lovely sketches that she did. This is the figment um, and Mushu matchup. So Mushu is wearing a figment hoodie. That's hilarious. I love that. Very creative. And look at this. It's a sketch of me with Suki and Molly, but Molly is mashed up with the dog with the keys from the jail scene of Pirates um, of the Caribbean, which is one of my favorite Disney animatronics of all time. And there's also a YouTube play button and I think this is supposed to be like the camera lens. That's incredible. We also have an excellent Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps sketch. I love that um, Nick is in his little um, scout uniform. And there is also Superhero Tigger, which is so sweet because Tigger is Aaron's nickname and, um, and Tigger truly is my, my very own superhero. That's a really cool sketch. I'm keeping all of these for forever, by the way. <gasps> Look at this old hag from Snow White. Isabella knows me very well. Like These are literally all of my favorite things in her sketches. Uh -huh. And finally, we have um, Orange Bird in a pumpkin patch. This was kind of an image from this past Halloween party. You've got Orange Bird creeping with the pumpkins. This is hilarious and brilliant. So thank you so much. I love these. Isabella, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and your creativity. And I hope you keep drawing because these are really good. Um, and I will be keeping these for forever, especially the one with me and Suki and Molly. And Molly has the keys in her mouth. That's That just touches my heart. So thanks, girl. And happy new year. And sorry this took me so long, but mwah and big hugs to you. 
All right, I think I have time to get through one more package. I've got a fun looking box from Canada here. And then I have a handful of, I think, mostly holiday cards that I wasn't able to get to um, last week on Christmas Eve. So I'll try to get through some holiday cards as well before I wrap this up and get it edited and get it up to you and then pack for my trip and make dinner and go to Disney World. All the things are happening. But first, this box is coming from Canada. I recognize the address. I think maybe I've had a box from this friend in Canada before. Ooh, there's some Disney washi tape around the sides. There's Judy Hopps and Gelatoni washi tape. And there is a card right on the top. It's got um, a little Lion King sticker sealing it shut. Oh, this is a really pretty card. Um, I love The Lion King. I don't talk about The Lion King that much on my channel, but I love that movie. And I think it came out when I was in sixth grade. I'm dating myself, but sixth grade-ish. And I saw it so many times in the theaters and all of my friends were obsessed with it. And we were also obsessed with Jonathan Taylor Thomas, who was the voice of young Simba. Anyway, here's the card. This is from Erica. Yes, Erica, I remember you. Uh, Becca, I was recently in Asia and picked up a couple of things for you. The bookmark and stickers are from Korea and everything else is from Japan. Erica sent me some goodies from um, Disneyland Paris and also from London um, a few weeks ago. So Erica, you are like traveling the world uh, this year, which is amazing. Good for you. And I love this card, by the way. And holy moly, there's a ton of stuff in here. So I better get started. So first I'm pulling out what looks like a ton of sticky notes. I talk about sticky notes a lot on my channel. I do have an obsession with cute sticky notes. So we have... Um, some Seven Dwarves sticky notes and also some Duffy and Friends sticky notes. I gotta get close to my camera because these are teeny and very nicely detailed. Look at these Seven Dwarves ones. These are from the Tokyo Disney Resort. They say hi ho and then it's got all of the dwarves headed off to work or, or home from work at the, the diamond mine and there's some of the, uh, the jewels above them. I love these. I don't even want to use them though because they're so cute. And also from the Tokyo Disney Resort, we have this Duffy and Friends sticky note set. So you've got Stella Lou the bunny and Shelly Mae and Duffy and Gelatoni with the trumpet. So it's actually four more sets of sticky notes. I think they're individually um, packaged. Like I think these all are, are separate in there. Next I'm seeing a couple of pins. I think these are both from Tokyo. I don't have a lot of Tokyo pins. I have a few, um, but, but frankly not that many. I'm under the impression that they don't come out with new pins all that often um, in Tokyo, which is why they don't really have a bigger presence in the pin trading world, but this, oh man, this is so pretty. Um, Tokyo has been celebrating its 35 year anniversary, the Tokyo Disneyland uh, Park. So this is a 35th anniversary pin and it's so colorful and sparkly and it says 35 right in the center. You've got Mickey and Minnie and they are partying their faces off. And then back here in the background, you've got a castle with a little jewel in it. And then down here on the banner, it says Tokyo Disney Resort. And I think the second pin is a Splash Mountain pin from Tokyo. I really am curious about how the Tokyo Splash Mountain is different from the Splash Mountains in the US. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. So this is a Splash Mountain pin from the Tokyo Disney Resort, and it looks like the typical um, log flume portion of the ride. It says Splash Mountain down here. And then it's got Chip and Dale in the ride vehicle, and it's a little bit of a slider. This is super cool. I, I'll have to look online and see how similar this attraction is to the, uh, the versions that we have of it in the United States. It sounds like everything in Tokyo is kind of like more elaborate, but... I'll have to look online and see see for myself or, or maybe even travel there later this year. Who knows? Hmm. Thank you so much for the pins. I love them. Here are some beautiful Snow White stickers. Okay, I'm never using these. I'm just collecting these. Um, but it's Snow White with um, some dwarves and the prince. Ooh, and then we have this set. This is obviously the Alice in Wonderland set. So you've got Alice, the Queen of Hearts, the Caterpillar. You've got the white rabbit, my favorite. There he is again. This is awesome. Oh, I love the little tea party scene down here. They're, they're sipping tea on the top of a, of a hat, it looks like. That is so cool. And now look at this gorgeous bookmark with the beautiful blossoms and then the birds on it. I've said many times on this channel that I'm a big bird lover. I love this so much and thank you. And I do mean to read more and more in 2019, so this bookmark will be um, at the top of my pile of beautiful bookmarks. There are so many beautiful things in this box. There are a bunch of um, Tokyo Disney bags, which I do use these. I have a little, um, uh, a little 
pack of plastic Disney Parks bags that I use for mailing things to people, so I will definitely use these, thank you. And there are several Tokyo Disney um, guides and maps. These have kind of, I think, the Christmas marketing on them. That's so neat. I will be looking at these because there is a chance we'll be headed to Tokyo Disney this year, me and Aaron, in 2019. And there are a ton more um, like sticky notes and writing pads. Let me get close with these. There is this Minnie Mouse holiday pad. It's so cute. It's got like a felt, it's like a sticker on the front. She's very festive. And look at the cute design on the paper. It's like Christmas uh, Mickey and Minnie writing papers. There is also a Mickey Mouse pad with um, his little glove inside. That's adorable. There is a Winnie the Pooh set of either uh, notepads or sticky notes. This unfolds, look at Eeyore, um, several times and you've got four different designs in there. I love these. And there is also this Mickey and Friends notepad, and I think they're kind of like all different um, kind of shapes and sizes of, of writing pads. Oh no, the characters are just situated in, in different spots. But look at this, Goofy is included, and also Max is included. That's super cool. You don't see Max very often, so that makes me very happy. And we're still not done. There's three more things. This is like better than a Tokyo Kawaii Club mailer. This is incredible. So next I'm seeing um, a pouch, and the pouch has Lady and the Tramp on it. Like a little coin purse, they are smooching on this side. Um, there's a different design on the back. So cute. I want to put this in my, uh, my park bag, I think. And she also sent this set of Mickey 90th birthday buttons. So you've got 90 years, let's celebrate. And then there's this cool design down here that I haven't seen before. It's like little mouse ears and a castle coming out of a Mickey 90 box. Really cool buttons. And finally, last but not least, there is this adorable tin. I love that you can get treats in souvenir tins in the Tokyo parks. I think that's so cool. And we don't really have a whole lot of that kind of thing in the States. But look at the tin. It's Duffy and Friends and it says, Cape Cod Twinkle Winter. <laughs> That's fascinating. I do love Cape Cod um, and I do love kind of the Northeast and I do love like nautical things. So I love this design. I do think it's funny that they have like a Cape Cod themed area of the Tokyo Disney Sea Park um, in Japan. Uh, it's That's delightful. But I love how cute their outfits are and look at Gelatoni pulling the wagon behind him. Thank you so much, Erica. That was crazy like i said a minute ago that was like opening two or three tokyo kawaii club mailers in one go that was awesome so thank you for thinking of me during your travels and thank you for thinking of me on your last trip to paris as well i you're like jet setting and that's amazing. I hope your 2019 is as eventful and uh, worldly as your 2018 was. That like meant a ton to me. So so thank you so much and, and hugs to you in Canada. I'm going to wrap up this video with a bunch of envelopes. I think they are um, letters and some holiday cards or a mixture of the two things. And since I typically don't read messages out loud, or at least not very much when I do these videos, I'm gonna mostly show you. It's gonna be like more of a show and less of a tell. So I'll probably get close to my camera um, for most of it. Okay, this first card is from Madison in Buffalo, New York. Hi, Madison. Madison's Christmas card says, all is bright. Madison's note says, I received these items in a Disney movie club purchase and thought of you. Maybe you can use them on a future pin board. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Madison. Yeah, there are a couple beautiful um, postcards and art cards in here. So we have this full color Christopher Robin postcard. Can you believe I have not yet seen this movie? Um, it's on my list. Maybe when I fly to Florida tomorrow, I can watch it on the plane. I'm hoping that Delta has it in their movie catalog. There was also a set of several more Christopher Robin postcards. These are beautiful. The texture on these cards is really nice too. So you've got uh, Pooh, Tigger, Eeyore and Piglet. And then here you have just Pooh and Piglet. That's so sweet. <gasps> Solo Tigger, loving Solo Tigger and Solo Pooh. These are so sweet. I love these. I do have a little Pooh pin collection, so this would be great on a Pooh themed pin board. Next is a card from Krista in Michigan. Hi, Krista in Michigan. Krista's card is adorable. I've never seen this Christmas card before. It has uh, Marie from Aristocats. I love this. I'm totally saving this for next year's pin board. And I'm just reading Krista's message, and it's um, it's gonna make me cry. It's really sweet. So. Thank you for the kind words, and um, this means a lot to me, Krista, if you're watching, so 
thank you like so much you don't even know next i have a letter or a card from amy in kentucky it looks like amy in kentucky <laughs> And Amy sent me a great postcard, but I have to read you the first sentence of her note on the back. It says, hi, Becca. My name is Amy, and I'm a broke-ass college student. Girl, I have been there. I am thankfully not there anymore, but I was there for four years of my life um, and several years after that, actually. Um, so thank you for your amazing um, card and your cool, your sweet, funny note. Very good note. But now look at what this postcard says. It says, realness bores me. I'm a better pretender. I also relate to this. I love this. I'm keeping this forever. Thank you, Amy, and good luck with your broke ass college studentness. This I relate, and it doesn't last forever. Hopefully, knock on wood. Next, I have some international mail. It says Royal Mail on it, so I'm guessing this is from the United Kingdom. There's a little card. It says Becca Disney Kitty on it. Let me open up this little card, and this mail is from Minda. Hi, Minda. That's a unique um, name. Look at how pretty this little Christmas card is. I love that sparkly uh, glitter too. And there is also a letter from Minda on the most beautiful stationery. I'm not gonna um, read the whole letter out loud, but look at the stationery with the fairies. Reminds you of Tinkerbell plus Beauty and the Beast and oh my gosh. Ooh, and she says she's gonna be in Orlando at Disney for Christmas. I hope you had a wonderful, magical time. I'm sure you did. Thanks, Minda, for the sweet letter. I'll read this a little bit more when my camera is turned off. And then we have something that's wrapped up here in a tiny little, um, tissue oh cool i think this might be something that you can make but it's snow white it's a little snow white this is so sweet what do you call this um kind of crafty medium what's this called i don't know tell me below if you know um what this is because i don't know because i don't really know my crafts but i love it and thank you and i love snow white thank you so much minda the final card and the final piece of magic mail in this video is coming from bakersfield california bakersfield california it's got a little um, Elsa sticker on the back. I wonder if this is a holiday card also. Yes, it is. Oh, it's really cute too. I haven't seen this one yet either. It's Mickey Mouse decorating a Christmas tree. I'm going to keep this forever. I'm going to keep all my, I keep all my mail, you guys, because it reminds me of how fortunate I am to be able to do this uh, with you and for you. Like I, I know that I'm very lucky and I think about that all the time and I keep my mail as a reminder of that as well. Ooh, and there's some pretty stickers inside. More Disney stickers for the collection. I love this um, Aurora with the uh, owl sticker the best. And this mail from California is from Jessica. Hi, Jessica, thank you. Um, and Jessica has written me a very nice note as well. She says she too is a huge Disney sticker collector and that she hopes to follow in my footsteps and start her own Disney YouTube channel or blog. I hope you do it. It's been um, a very rewarding part of my life, a very surprising part of my life. And um, not just with YouTube, but just with whatever you want to do um, in your life, just do it. Life is short. I'm in my mid 30s. I'm arguably like inching toward my late 30s. And I waited too long <laughs> to start this dream up. So do it now, whatever it is that you want to do, do it now. I'm going to cry. And I've also had too much caffeine and I'm getting like, I'm getting worked up. And also the light is getting weird and the candle is like on my face and I'm turning into a weirdo like before your eyes. But Jessica, thank you for the mail. And if you want to start a blog or a vlog or a channel, like do it do it. Uh, and happy holidays and, and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you also. Okay, everybody, I am, I'm losing my light. So it's time to hang it up for this Magic Mail Monday. Thank you so much to everyone that has sent me something. I will have more Magic Mail openings in the future. So if I haven't opened your package yet um, or your letter yet, um, hopefully that's coming in the future. If you're worried about mail that you've sent to me, send me a little email note um, because I do know a few things have gone missing in the mail. I'm not totally sure how to track those down yet. I'm looking for my light, um, but I'm working on it. So, so reach out if you if you think that you need to. That's totally fine. Um, happy New Year! Very happy New Year to you all. I wish you all a peaceful transition into 2019. I do have a little special New Year's video that I'm going to post tomorrow, which is Tuesday, January 1st. It's probably one of the most vulnerable things I've ever put on YouTube. So, if you've made it this far into the video, you have that. Um, 
act of vulnerability to look forward to tomorrow and uh, I'm off to Walt Disney World so I might send you some updates from the parks I might not I'll be with my family I don't know how much uploading I will do but then I'll be back and there'll be vlogs and we'll be back to uh, to normal for 2019 around here oh there's a lot of talking um, thanks so much for watching everybody have a magical New Year's Eve and I will see you next year bye